Hey, what's up guys? This is Justin at wingsound.com. In this Battery 3 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to assign and control any parameter within Battery 3 with your external MIDI controller. Remember to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for the latest releases coming from Wing Sound Studios. Okay, so what you want to do is go to the View drop-down menu, go to the Automation page, and you want to go to MIDI CC. The modulation wheel is kind of a default that shows up within Battery. But if you want to make any changes of that MIDI CC number, all you got to do is click in the little box and drag up or down to make those changes. Or you can double click in there and type that number in. You know, so if you're aware of how your MIDI keyboard is laid out as far as MIDI CC numbers go, you know, you can really map it out very easily for yourself. So you know exactly which knob, fader, mod wheel, pitch bend, you know, you'll know exactly what you're controlling. Okay, so I'm gonna use the mod wheel, you know, cause it's pretty easy defaults to it. So what you wanna do is click and drag that little area where it says mod wheel and drop it onto whatever parameter you wanna control. So I'm gonna choose the bits in the lo-fi effect. And I'm also gonna turn it on obviously so it can work. And when I move my mod wheel around, as you can see, the bits are changing. So now my mod wheel is controlling the bits. And it's really cool, it shows you, you know, what the cell is, whatever cell you have highlighted. And it shows you the parameter name, the bits, and the from percent and two percent, I leave it from zero to 100, so I have the full range of control there. And if you wanna reset it, obviously you see the reset button there. And if you don't wanna use the mod wheel and you wanna use another knob, slider, you know, or your pitch band or whatever it is you wanna use on your MIDI keyboard, instead of the mod wheel, what you wanna do is click learn. So it's highlighted and then grab whatever it is you wanna control, move it around. And as you can see now a knob on my M Audio Axion keyboard is controlling the bits now in the lo-fi effect. So it's a real quick way to, you know, make some assignments there so you know what you're controlling and things like that. Now I know it's the automation page within battery and essentially it is going to record that data as automation, but it won't show up because it's not engaged in the host automation area. So it's not gonna show up visually, but um, when your computer and Pro Tools and things like that read the information, it's gonna read it as automation data. But again, it's not gonna show up. It's just a quick way, you know, if you wanna do some changes here and there with some effects and things like that instead of having to go through the hassle of mapping everything out piece by piece you know that can get very tedious and could you know kind of hinder your creative process so if it's just like one little thing you want to do you know do it this way it's real quick check out wing sound on the itunes store to subscribe to the podcast listen to some music and download the free iphone app that will keep you up to date with all of the latest releases from wing sound studios just search for wing sound at the itunes store